And welcome back. A concussion is a mild brain injury caused by a blow to the head. With so many kids starting sports teams right now, how would you recognize a brain injury? Way Down Your Side has the answers for you today. And joining me now is Dr. Patrick Mularoni from All Children's Hospital. Good to have you with us today. Thank you. This is a hot topic because especially this time of year, and, and over the years science has shown us how important it is to look for concussions and watch out for them. So going back to school, football starting, uh, impact sports are starting. What is the biggest thing we should tell parents out there to watch out for when it comes to concussions? Well, the symptoms of concussion that, that children usually will complain of are headache, dizziness. Sometimes in younger kids, you'll see emotional ability. They'll just be more irritable. Mm -hmm. And then balance issues. Um, and those are, those are the most common symptoms associated with concussion. But you have to have a keen eye to look for those kids on the field and, and, and take them off to ask those questions. So it's pretty obvious if you're on a football field or a soccer field and you run into somebody, that could be a concern. But are there any other instances where you may bang a head and, and not think about, well, that could be a concussion? Any hit to the body or the head that causes rotational movement or causes a big movement of the head can cause a concussion. And unfortunately, there's no studies that we can do or no, no imaging studies to find concussion. So most of it bases on, on what the child's symptoms are and, and what they're complaining of. So is there a segment of the population or age that's going to be, we should be more concerned about? The younger, is that something? We, we see concussions more in actually teenagers in that high school range. And, mm -hmm. and one of the issues with them is that getting them back to school and getting them back into, into their high school sports. Okay, so when they're out on the fields, uh, what can they do and what can parents tell their kids? You know, you're, you're getting ramped up, you're all jacked up to go out and play sports. What can they do to just say, hey, be careful, you don't want you don't want a concussion? Well, the, the state of Florida has mandated that all student athletes this year start um, by watching a 30-minute video. So all the kids, before they go play sports, know more about concussion. And just warn them that if, if you have a concussion or any of these symptoms, when in doubt, sit out and, and, and ask those questions. And it's amazing, too, with all of the specials out on, on, in the media about uh, helmets and just safety of protecting from these concussions. I mm -hmm. mean, it, science has come a long way. It has come a long way. And one of the things that, that we're really pushing now is the whole return to learning thing. You know, the Florida High School Athletic Association has done a great job with getting kids back on the field, but it's getting them back into the classroom that becomes the okay. biggest issue. So they need to focus there to get the information out before you hit the field. Absolutely. And you have a great video out as well. You can see uh, the video that they put together at tampabayparenting.com. There's a little video in the corner. You can click the links underneath that's going to actually show you that video or just search for the concussion video on the website. But a lot of great information there especially if you're, a, if you're a parent who wants to learn more or a, a someone playing sports, good stuff to, uh, to know. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for us. having me, sir. Appreciate it, doctor. All right.